I was checking out some lithium battery websites the other day and ran across one of the most egregiously misleading marketing graphics I've seen in a long time. This kind of stuff pisses me off because lithium batteries are amazing compared to lead acid, so you shouldn't have to mislead and embellish the truth to sell more batteries. And it isn't just this one company. So I'm going to hide the identity of the company that posted this because I think they're actually a good company with great batteries and I could have done this video on similar marketing half-truths from 20 different companies. Alright, before I show you the graphic and start going through it point by point, I know this video will get lots of comments calling me a lithium hater, trashing lead acid batteries, and saying the video's clickbait. Welcome to YouTube. Knock yourself out, but in reality, I only use lithium batteries in my own solar panel systems, and I run an e-commerce store selling lithium batteries. I haven't used lead acid for years. And in case you need a refresher on one of the definitions of a lie, here you go. The whole purpose of this video is to clear up confusion and help people accurately make these comparisons so they can make a better purchase decision. Anyways, here's the graphic. Again, I've edited the graphic to hide the company, which we'll call Brand X. So what I want to do is go line by line and talk about each of these claims. I'll take Brand X's word for their claims about their 100 amp hour lithium battery. But in order to make this useful, we need to compare it to a real lead acid battery. And to stay true to the marketing graphic, it needed to be exactly 200 amp hours for about $450. That's actually a lot of money for a lead acid battery. So that puts us in the premium territory for one of Trojan's best batteries. So line number one, we have one of the classic lies of lithium marketing, that lead acid batteries can only be discharged to 50%. That was the basis for the entire video of one of my previous videos called The Great Lithium Lie. But basically, you can discharge a lead acid battery to 0% state of charge, just like you can with a lithium battery. It does decrease the cycle life of the lead acid battery more severely than lithium though. But for this comparison, we're going to discharge the Trojan battery all the way too and deal with the shorter battery life. So line number one is a tie. Remember, one of the rules of the scientific method is to remove as many variables as possible, so we want both to be on the same playing field. On line number two, Brand X claims that lead acid batteries discharge 33% per month. This is a huge embellishment. Lead acid discharges a lot faster than lithium for sure, but it isn't nearly that bad. The Trojan battery discharges about three to five times faster. So this line is clearly in favor of Brand X, but not nearly as badly as they claimed. On line number three, Brand X claims that a lead acid battery lasts between 500 and 1200 cycles. That's actually true, but only because we're discharging the Trojan battery to 100% depth of discharge. It would have lasted 1600 cycles if we had kept the 50% depth of discharge variable. There's no $450 lead acid battery on the planet that would only do 500 cycles at 50% discharge. But even so, this line is definitely in favor of lithium and brand X. On line four, brand X compares the weight of the two batteries. And while the Trojan is still extremely heavy, they're off by almost 10%. And this battery is built like a tank. So even though they embellish this line too, clearly Brand X has a big advantage here. On line 5, Brand X compares their warranty of 10 years to a 2 to 3 year warranty for the lead acid battery. Again, a $450 price point, which Brand X chose for the comparison, puts you in the premium territory for lead acid batteries. And those premium batteries last a lot longer and has a lot more warranty support than the typical cheapo trash you buy at your local big box store. Lithium batteries certainly last longer and thus have longer warranties, but Trojan gives a five year warranty and an expected battery life of eight years, and that matters a lot in this comparison. Line six is a doozy. Brand X makes a claim that you don't get any customer support for lead acid batteries. That isn't just misleading or a white lie. That's a bold-faced lie. Because lead acid batteries are much simpler with no electronics and have been around for decades, they use a different support model similar to the auto industry. So just like you wouldn't call up Ford Motor Company to troubleshoot your Mustang, you wouldn't call up Trojan either. Instead, they have dealer networks that provide that support just like cars. 
so you can get full support anytime during the warranty period. While Brand X claims lifelong support, forgive me for not putting much stock in that past the warranty period since they haven't even been in business long enough for any of their batteries to be out of warranty. So this line is clearly a tie. On line 7 we have a comparison of the upfront costs of both batteries. Since I stuck with Brand X's dollar amount to choose this battery, this one is accurate. In fact, when these Trojans were plentiful, you could actually get them for about $250. But right now you can still find them for $419, so we'll use that number. This one is decidedly in favor of lead acid. By extension of that, on line 8 we have a comparison of costs for 10 years. This is where the warranty period comes in. Clearly Brand X meant for this to be a comparison using the warranty period instead of the expected useful life. Because the useful life of a lithium battery is well beyond 10 years. But since they chose 10 years, that means we need to replace the Trojan battery once halfway through for a total of $838. Heaven only knows where they got $3600 in their comparison, but that's a huge lie. The 10 year cost of $838 is still below the cost of a single Brand X lithium battery because Brand X is a premium lithium brand that is made in the USA. So this line is in favor of lead acid. Speaking of made in the USA, on line 9 Brand X highlights that their lithium battery is made in the USA. Now that may be a big deal if you're comparing brands of lithium batteries. But what they're misleading or lying to you about is that most lead acid batteries that are sold in the US are made in the US. Certainly all of Trojan's batteries are made in their four manufacturing facilities in the US. So this line is actually a tie. And finally on line 10 Brand X points out that lead acid batteries do not have any built in protections. That's obviously true and favors Brand X lithium batteries. So after going through this line by line the lithium batteries are clearly the winner in everything but cost. And there could be an argument made that two Trojan batteries might not go a full 10 years on 1500 cycles because 10 years is over 3650 days. So that's a fair point if you wanted to analyze it that way. But keep in mind the target market for Brand X's batteries are RVs, boats, and golf carts. And none of those market segments cycle their batteries every single day. But these bullet points are only part of the story. These two types of batteries are like apples and oranges. Yes they're both fruit but they're very different and appeal to different people and have different uses. To properly compare the two we could look at more points of comparison such as surge current and maintenance that continue to highlight the differences between these two chemistries and two different companies. So while someone looking at that graphic even after my point by point analysis may have been tempted to rush out and buy a Brand X battery Someone that continued to look at all angles would quickly realize that the Trojan battery has twice as much capacity. And yes, you absolutely could talk about lithium holding a voltage longer and a bunch of points I didn't list here. That's not the point. I'm not here to declare a winner. My point is if you do your homework and take some time to see through the marketing BS, you can make a much better decision. So let the debate rage on. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting or helpful, please leave a thumbs up and a comment below.